or if you have an emergency fund for yourself when you will be sick or when you will you know need to be admitted into the hospital do not worry guys because there is a private hospital here in the philippines that can actually accommodate you more than a family Hi folks, welcome to my YouTube channel and for today's video, we'll be talking about why Philippines is the best place to retire and why foreign countries are considered jackpot in the Philippines. So, before we gonna go deeper into the topic for today, probably some of you or most of you here right now have been decided or thinking about where to retire in the next couple of years and you might be um, choosing a better place for you where you can enjoy where your money can go beyond and can go further so later on i'll be giving you some things that might give you or might give you clarity why philippines is really the best place to retire so without further ado let's get started so the first one is the lower cost of living so as you know philippines is still a developing country so that means that your money will really go further when you live here or yeah here in the asia here in the philippines to be exact and then um the lower cost of living here that means that um you can buy foods you can buy or you can rent condominium in a lower price not to mention about there in your country that it is very expensive so when we retire we always really want to go onto the place where we can relax where we can enjoy and when we feel that we are just home and we are not like a tourist right so here in the philippines we will welcome you so right now um the kilo of rice is uh ranges 40 to 50 there is you know 60 kilos per kilo but then it depends what type of rice that you are gonna buy but probably um in order for you to eat like good rice or you know delicious rice if you are fond of it um probably you're gonna buy a ganador which is around 60 per kilo but i know um, most of you don't really or not really a fan of rice but then overall guys the lower cost of living will really make you decide to live here so if you're gonna ask me if how much is the condominium or some little apartment here in Cebu I am actually living here an apartment guys that costs 11,500 pesos per month and that is really a good choice because you can actually bring your girlfriend here or your future partner if you want and then another thing guys is this is already two room for only 11,500 pesos so i guess if you really wanted to save more from your retirement um you know every month you have to you have to choose um better place and then not so expensive because if you are gonna choose about condominium and then um it actually costs around 30 to 40k but overall that's still good for you because i know in your country it is so expensive like around 50 to 100,000 apartment so here in the philippines guys 11,500 pesos or that is equivalent to 200 us dollar that is already a house an apartment with two room and one dining you know area and then a bathroom as well so here uh you will be the one that gonna purchase a furniture because it is not fully furnished but then you can actually choose a apartment where it is fully furnished so 
the price depends so you can actually um, buy or rent it for probably around uh, 15 to 20 thousand pesos every month that is still really a good choice so that's it guys the lower cost of living is really good here in the philippines because it will save you a lot of money the the foods here or uh you know all the things that you want is just very lower and then not really the same in your country that it is kind of expensive so that is number one so number two reason is the philippines has a tropical paradise and a never-ending adventure so i know that most of you here that are watching with me right now you want to retire into a place where you can adventure where you can actually enjoy a you know natural view beaches or waterfalls diving swimming with shark or whatever that you can really enjoy what really the mean of life so i know and i believe that all of us when we want to retire in the near future we want to live into a country or into a place where we can feel that oh this is so amazing i love this place that i'm living right now because aside from the lower cost of living i am enjoying the view i am enjoying the the beauty of the philippines the beauty of the world so philippines actually have a never-ending adventure so when you go or when you travel here in the philippines it is actually good guys because um whichever place that you will be visiting is there is always some beautiful tourist spot even in the province area guys there is what we call a tourist spot that you can actually enjoy so i would say that philippines is only the country that has a never-ending adventure so i hope that i can see you here soon with your adventure and the third one that i'm gonna mention today is the warm and welcoming culture do you know guys or probably most of you here knows already but i want to remind you here guys that philippines are indeed one of the best place that you can retire because it has a warm and welcoming culture so you will not feel that you are not belong because the Filipinos are really, you know, good and welcoming visitors and the people here are kind. They are actually willing to help you when you are lost, but probably you would not because you are brilliant, guys. And then warm and welcoming culture is one of the reasons um, that makes Philippines a best country to live or to retire because the culture here is you can just adopt it easily i know it would take so much time for you or it would take you a month or even weeks or days but i i am sure guys that it would not be hard for you because the people are actually willing to teach you when you are not really familiar so if you are just interested or if if you are just willing to learn and adjust Philippines is really the one and really the best place guys. It is not so hard to adopt because the people here always welcome visitors with an open hand. So yeah, that's it. The next thing that I'm gonna mention to you guys, which is the number four, is the healthcare facilities in the Philippines. I know guys that when we leave or when we retire to another place or country, it's always in our mind about our health because how can we um, live into that place beautifully if we are not healthy enough so you might be thinking that um, how about the healthcare facilities Jonabelle is it good is it nice what are the reviews and what are the things that we can we can expect into the Philippines so I know guys um, living into the other place where country takes so much uh the de decision and then it takes so much time 
but I will be the one that gonna confirm you today, guys, that Philippines is actually have the best healthcare facilities. So do not worry, guys, because if you just have or if you have an emergency fund for yourself when you will be sick or when you will you know need to be admitted into the hospital do not worry guys because there is a private hospital here in the philippines that can actually accommodate you more than a family so when you have this when you have like um admission fee that you can pay to the counter when you are sick do not worry guys because everything here is good but they're just you know um question that i actually heard i mean i'm being asked with um a subscriber if there is a healthcare facility in the philippines so he he is asking me if there is and then i said that there is a public um healthcare or public hospital here but i don't really suggest you with that because the service is just so poor sometimes and though it's you know the lower price but then you will regret after so would be much better to go into the private hospital where you can actually feel that you are safe where you can actually feel that you will get better soon and then here in cebu city guys if you are gonna choose um here in cebu I'm going to tell you guys that there is really a lot of God doctors that you can, you know, uh, visit when you are sick or when you are worried about your health care. No worries at all, guys, because Philippines has the best healthcare facilities that I can really recommend you guys. So no worries, guys. No worries. The next thing that I'm going to mention to you guys is English is widely spoken here in the Philippines. So I know that when we travel, even if we only want to travel into that place, we tend to learn, we tend to um, develop some skills in order for us to learn about their language or to learn about the language of the local so here in the philippines guys do not worry because majority of the people especially here in the big city can actually speak in english but still there are part of the philippines when you go to the countryside but I know you would not go there like really beyond the province because it's just too far so i actually guys by the way i'm actually living in the countryside and some people there don't actually know how to speak in english so here in the city or in the province um there are people there are actually a lot of people that can speak in english so do not worry because People can actually talk to you in English and they will not misunderstand you if you have some questions or if you want to ask some directions. But I always recommend to have your phone with you wherever you go so that you can use location. You can use a Google map for you not to be lost. <laughs> By the way, um, here, all the signs here in the Philippines is in English. So no worries really guys because you will do good here in the philippines next thing that i'm gonna mention to you guys is the philippines is not so third world country so philippines is really in that the best option because when we want to live into a certain place or a certain country we want to find like something different and that means that you can enjoy um natural natural places here the beaches here the waterfalls here diving with shark here so it's really a good place guys because not to mention about the people not to mention about the beautiful ladies not to mention about the beautiful filipinas i would say that oh we really wanted to try something different or at least to give something or to let our eyes see uh, something different that we never seen in our own home 
The next thing that I'm gonna mention to you guys is the availability of the products. All right, so you might be wondering, or you might, or it might be a problem to you because, Jonabel, what if I cannot use this one because this is not available in your country? No worries, guys, because here in the Philippines, all the businessmen, all the people here that do or sell products they actually tend to meet the demand of the people and those includes the foreigners those include the tourists or the visitors so you can purchase anything you want here in the philippines that um you might be thinking right now so here in the philippines guys there is a lot of available products that you can actually purchase do not worry guys because here in the philippines there is a lot of available products that you can actually purchase that is also available in your country because as what i have said all the business owner the seller here always met the demand of the consumer another thing that i'm gonna mention to you guys is the philippines special retirement visa so this one guys um some of you are not familiar with this one and some of you are already familiar with this one but um here in the philippines guys the government actually offered a visa for retirees from another side of the world so here if you are a bit worried that you cannot own a land or you cannot own a condominium or something because you don't have yet a filipina partner i would say guys that no worries at all here in the philippines you can still purchase or you can still own a condominium even if you don't have any partner at all but i know you will find one guys it's not so hard to find a filipina partner or a good wife here in the philippines so that special visa guys is the government offered that one for the you know people who wants to retire in our place and that means that you can actually work here you can actually um own a condominium invest like whatever you want you are like kind of citizen dual citizen here in the philippines so those are some important things that i really wanted to share it with you guys because um i know and probably a lot of you here um decision or think about where to retire in the next couple of years so i hope that i have you have learned something from me today and and before this video end guys i want to introduce you a dating service that i recommend and trust the most it's called christian filipina guys i'm gonna put the link in the description box in this video and in the comment section because guys i assured you that it's your time right now to meet the sincere and genuine filipina that are willing to settle in the near future and a filipina who can be a really good wife when you have when you want to settle a family already um if you are new to my youtube channel guys do not forget to like share comment and subscribe and share this video to your friends so that they would also know why philippines is the best place to retire and why foreign retirees are considered jackpot in the philippines so Bye for now, guys.